Moving on to this week in football. Let's see. Carolina, Tampa Bay. You know, I, I, it's my understanding that if Brian Greasy is healthy, he will be playing. So, um, you know that when it's come to that, the um, relationship between Gruden and Garcia is just irrep irreparable. That he'll actually go out of his way to play Brian Greasy. And I know Brian Greasy's a tough guy. He's a veteran with some savvy, but... <clears throat> I'm sorry. He's just infinitely inferior to Garcia. So, something's got to happen there. I want to see Garcia get out of there and go to a team like... I don't know, maybe Minnesota. He's much better than Farad, I think. So, as for this game, I'm, I'm going to take Carolina. They're away, and I do think the Bucks are pretty good, and they're coming off that close loss. Carolina's pretty hot right now. They might be due for a letdown, but I think they're the better team, and there's still, and I think there's a lot of turmoil going on in Tampa right now, so I'll take, I'll take Carolina. Indianapolis and Baltimore, this is a headache. This is a grade A headache. These, uh, you know, I like both these teams a lot for the style of teams that style of play. They're very much opposites of each other. Um, Indies at home, Joe, F you know, Baltimore. Their offense is obviously pretty stagnant. We already know that much. <coughs> uh, I don't think Joe Flacco's won on the road yet, but don't quote me on that. I'm not positive. And um, <coughs> excuse me, um, Indy has not looked good so far this year. They're very lucky to have two of their wins. Okay, they were also unlucky to lose to Jacksonville, but they were lucky to get their two wins. Baltimore has lost two in a row, and they if they want to think about the postseason, they got to start winning now. <coughs> Indy really has to think the same way, because if they lose this game, catching Tennessee in the division looks like a bit of a pipe dream. I am going to go with Indy. I'm going to stick my faith with Peyton Manning and the Colts to ride the wave of momentum from last week through the next several weeks and maybe get back to looking like the Colts we know. So, this game's a real toss-up. I'm just going to go with what I know. And I know the Colts are at home. I know Baltimore is a rookie quarterback. So, and I know Baltimore maybe isn't the team that we saw the first two weeks. So, I'll take Indy. Jets, Bengals, Palmer's out, making this a slam dunk. I would think about it if Palmer was in. I would still probably pick the Jets, but I would think about it. I'm taking the Jets. I think Favre's going to have another huge day against that secondary. Washington, St. Louis. Well, what else am I going to do? I think the Rams are our best help for an 0-16 season, so <clears throat> I'll continue to bet on that. Washington takes it at home. Minnesota, Detroit. Um, if it's not St. Louis, it's going to be Detroit, I think. So, I'm not saying 0-16 oh, is going to happen, but it looks awful good this year, don't you think? So, yeah, I'm going to take Minnesota, getting back to 500. Uh, Chicago, Atlanta. Chicago's on the road. Kyle Orton is really, really due to have a bad game. He's due. I mean, he's had two really good games in a row. Well two really good games by his standards, so you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop, and he's due. And it's on the road, like I said, but then again, you got Atlanta. Atlanta's played up to their potential so far this year. They they haven't disappointed, they haven't lost any games they should have won, they've come away with one upset win at least, but we don't really know how good they are yet. They do have a rookie quarterback going up against a tough Chicago defense. So, <clears throat> this one's difficult. But, um, I, I think I'll take Chicago because I think Matt Ryan is going to struggle mightily against um, the Chicago defense. And I could see some defensive touchdowns for Chicago putting them over the edge. New Orleans, Oakland. <clears throat> New Orleans has lost so many close games this year. They really are in a do-or-die situation. Technically, they're not, obviously. But they've wasted some winning efforts in games they lost. You only get so many winning efforts a year. You're not going to come out and outplay the opposition every week. 
you have to take advantage of the times when you play well enough to win and win. So, given all those efforts that they wasted in losses, they really are, do need a win. And, you know, it is Oakland. New Orleans is at home. I got the Saints. Miami, Houston. You wonder what the Sage Rosenfeld's meltdown means for this team. Does that make them angry and hungry, or does it kill them? What do you think? We, we know Miami is probably pretty good. They have, Like I said in my videos last week, I think Miami could be for real this year. <clears throat> but it's in Houston. Houston really does need a win. And you wonder how last week's game is going to affect them. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll take Miami. I'll bite. I'll back up what I said last week when I was talking about them. Miami. Denver, Jacksonville. Boom! <clears throat> You know, I would take Jacksonville no problem if it wasn't for last week. Denver had me completely convinced that their defense was atrocious, and then they went and did that. They made me think for a second, maybe they're not so bad. Maybe they're getting it together. So I hate that. <clears throat> Throw in Eddie Royal not playing, and this game becomes a complete nightmare. So I'm just going to pick the home team and go for Denver. And I do think they are the better team. Seattle... Green Bay. I, you know, from a football perspective, as a football fan and as a Seahawks fan, I am looking forward to this game, but I am not looking forward to the result. Charlie Fry is starting, for those of you guys who don't know. Charlie Fry is getting the start. Matt has a, I guess he's close to being there, but he's not quite there yet. His knee's a little messed up from the Giants game. He played through it then, can't play through it this week. If we lose, <clears throat> I honestly think this season becomes lost. Not technically, but I don't see us bouncing back from 1-4. I, 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 I can't see it happening. So, as much as I hate to bet against Seattle in a do-or-die situation like this, I can't bet on Charlie Fry even in these situations. <clears throat> you know, Green Bay's so far this season hasn't been that good either. We could win this game with Charlie Fry. Mark my words, we could, but i got to be smart here and take Green Bay, even though it's in Seattle, you know, for this game. I think we could pull it off. We need our defense to step up big time, force turnovers. We need Julius Jones to have a big game, which I do think he will. <clears throat> but the smart money lies with Green Bay, and I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst, obviously. The trendy sleeper pick this year is this week is Arizona over Dallas. I'm not going to bite on it. I think Dallas has to be a little angry right now. They feel they've underachieved in recent weeks. I think they need to step up and take somebody to task. <clears throat> you know, it's in Arizona. Arizona is not a bad team, obviously. They um, they show flashes toward both good and bad, but I'm not going to bite on this. I. This could be like the Jets game, where a lot of people are picking the Cardinals as sort of a sleeper upset, and then Romo, in this case, throws like six touchdowns and just destroys the secondary. I could see that happening. So Dallas. Philly, San Fran. Uh, Philadelphia, another one of those teams losing too many close games. Got to find a way to win close games. So they're 2-3 and three now. And their playoff homes look dim, and if they lose this game in the NFC East, that might be it for them. And San Francisco, they're the same record in the same position, but their division's a lot weaker. Both teams should be pretty desperate, but I think Philly is going to come out with something to prove. And I, without Westbrook, without Andrews, without Brown, I still believe they're the more talented team. So give me the Eagles. New England, San Diego. I thought about this. I had to meditate on this one for a while. San Diego might be playing for their season because they probably cannot catch Denver at this point in their division. That's what we're guessing at this point. So they really need to win this game at home against New England. There are many reasons why they have to win this game, so I'll take my chances with them. And lastly, for some reason, people are picking Cleveland in an upset over New York. I don't get it. I don't see it. I'm taking the Giants to win convincingly on Monday night. And that'll be it for me for picks, so hope I do better than last week's 7-7 seven seven effort. See you guys later.